it's Daisy here and I've got a really really cool different idea for my breakout blogging today. Um, so you won't actually be looking at my face, you're going to be looking at what I just bought. Uh, I just did the weekly food shop and I just wanted to give you guys a rough idea of what's in my fridge and what I think should be in yours too. So let's go and have a look. Now bear in mind this I got from the big supermarkets, I won't say which one, don't know if I'm allowed to advertise on Facebook but you can get this anywhere. Now, I hear so many excuses of, oh, I can't get to the shops, I can't get to a big shop. Get a bus. I've been 40 minutes away from the biggest supermarket before and had to go on foot because I couldn't use my car. So you can do it. Here we go. This is what I bought. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a wide range of food here. Now, this cost me just over 30 pounds and it would have cost about 25 if I hadn't bought all this damn cheese for Chris but Chris likes cheese so I buy it for him now I've got a ton of kale two different packets of spinach got green lentils I like lentils avocado great for making guacamole we've got chicken we've got turkey sausages for Chris I don't eat those Steak mints because we're going to probably have some bolognese, almond butter, blueberries, raspberries, bananas. Now, I did actually have some strawberries here, but they're already in my tummy, so sorry about that. We got butter beans. Now, we usually have chickpeas as well, but I didn't buy any today because I wanted to eat the butter beans instead. Uh, the worst thing in here is the fact that I've bought basics eggs. I bought them because they're in a pack of 18 and Chris goes through about six of them every two days, possibly every day. So it does make our life a little bit easier because we can buy the bigger one. But if you do buy eggs, try and buy organic eggs because they are so much better for you. Uh, it's not just bullshit or whatever you want to call it. When they say buy organic, it is actually better for you. So all of this stuff here all cost me just over £30. If we take the cheese away... There you go, this is what I would eat for a week. This would have cost me just over 25 pounds. Um, all I would have to do now is buy a little bit of veg. I actually have veg in my fridge, so I won't need to get any more beyond this. What I might have to do is go out during the middle of the week, get a few more peppers, some onions, some courgettes, just so I've got plenty to make meals with. Now, the amount of food that I've got there would feed a hungry fitness instructor, and a young lad who's just started a new job. Um, it would feed both of us for the entire week. So when I hear people say they can't eat healthy food because it's too expensive, it's rubbish. It really is rubbish. Because for £30, you could both go out and you could have a McDonald's breakfast and a takeaway for lunch. Now you've got no money left for dinner. What a shame. But at the same time, you've pumped a load of rubbish through your body. Go out, make your own food, make healthy food. It's so much cheaper and so much better for you. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my re well, my repertoire for food to make for today. I've already had breakfast. Like I said, I ate all the strawberries. I had a strawberry and banana smoothie with some squeezed lime over it. So fresh lime, which I had again in the fridge. Um, for lunch, what I'm going to have today is a two egg omelette with some red onions and some spinach at the side. Um, for dinner, Chris and I are going to cook some salmon with some broccoli and cauliflower. That's all in our freezer. And again, salmon does qu cost quite a bit. It's about £6 for some frozen blocks or again, 5 to £10 for some fresh stuff. I would recommend getting fresh, but at the end of the day, we're not all rich and I understand that, which is why I buy frozen. So, that's all I've got. That's all I need to eat. Um, and you know... Uh, that's me doing four classes of exercise today. That's going to be enough though. So if you honestly think you really need to eat as much as you're eating, just try something different. Give it a go. Give yourself a chance to change. And let me tell you that, you know, you're going to be all right. And <laughs> it will be good for you. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Let me know what's in your fridge and let me know what you're eating today. Ah!